we're here today to talk about a skin rejuvenation procedure. We're going to go ahead and show you techniques on how to uh, treat several areas of the face that are more difficult to treat, such as the upper lip, the lower lip, the nose area, the jaw line, and the forehead. Before starting with the procedure, we want to ensure that we're testing. We're always going to test on the left side of the neck below the ear. Testing is conducted for each treatment that the patient comes in. It's recommended that the treatment area, which is in this case the face, it be divided into smaller areas. We're going to divide the face into quarters because that's how we have better control and more precision. You want to ensure a 10% overlap and the row should be followed all the way down until you get to the jawline. The best way to treat the jawline is by simply following the structure of the jawline. So let's demonstrate that one more time. You want to follow the structure of the jawline you want to ensure full contact, you want to pr uh, put a little bit of pressure but not too much. If we apply too much pressure, then the laser may slide. I'm going to present you with the techniques on how to treat the upper lip Go ahead area. and start right in the middle of the lip area and do your first pulse. After you complete your first pulse, you want to follow the lip area right around it just like that. The corner of the mouth, you want to ask your patient to place the tongue right in the corner of the mouth and then you'll be doing one pulse from this side and the second pulse will be conducted from the other corner, just like that. The lower lip is treated in the same manner. You start on one side and you follow the lower lip area right around it. Continue with a full row. I'm going to extend the row to the jaw. The nose presents another difficult area. You want to ensure that the gel is applied. You want to place the laser um, bar right along the nose just like that and you want to do your first pulse. The second pulse is that in the diagonal. The top of the nose, it's not as easy to treat. We all have different shapes. Let's see here if we have good contact. When treating the forehead, we want to make sure that we have sufficient amount of gel. Make sure that the forehead is treated and bony. Do I want to go vertically? Do I want to go horizontally or diagonally to have the best contact? Pointing the laser applicator up. That ensures full contact. You can do one row going across Cover the eyebrow and do one pulse. You can see if you can fit a couple of pulses in that region. So I'm going to turn the machine on. Make sure you have your glasses on. Um, the mirror should always be protected. As you can see, when we do a photo facial on the patient, we want to ensure that they have the goggles on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test. You want to make sure that you look at your settings for skin rejuvenation. On one side you have skin rejuvenation, skin tightening. The other side you have laser hair removal. Lena has a skin type 4. When I, do, when I conduct my testing, I want to start at a fluence level of 12, but the highest I can go on her is 26. The arm should be normal or bony, and the ISM limit is 20. Apply the laser applicator down on the skin. You want to ensure full contact. Make sure the machine is on ready, and you're going to count. One, two, pulse. One, two. For each pulse that you do, you want to check the skin for the skin reaction. You're looking for increased redness. The skin may get too red, or the patient may be too uncomfortable, or if the ISM goes over 20, and that will tell you that it's time to stop, and you cannot increase the optical energy anymore. Two, 
walls. Contact. Goes on the side, and you want to place that applicator right in the corner. I would like to review some of the areas that appear to be more difficult when treating the face. And they are, as we talked about earlier, the jawline, the upper lip, the lower lip, the chin area, the nose, and the forehead. Yes, they present a challenge, but having the right technique will ensure that the patient gets the most efficient treatment in the safest way possible. Thank you.